yeah, it, it is my first main event and, and I'm super excited about it. But I think the biggest thing that I have working for me going into this fight is I'm not overselling it. I'm not over romancing it. I want to be a UFC world champion. If I want to be a UFC world champion, that means that being able to perform in main events in five rounds has got to be a must. So this is one of those situations where it's cool that it's finally here, but I've always known that this was going to happen. How about Bobby as an opponent? Some people will say, you know, you don't really have anything to gain because he's below you, but he's a big name and he's a big draw and people like to watch him fight. Uh, those people would be called wrong because there's a lot that I gained from this fight. And I, I don't understand why people are saying that this is a fist fight. If I was fighting number 15, I'd still be risking something. If I fought number nine, I'd be risking something. You always have something that you risk when going into this, uh, this sport, these fights. That's what I love about it so much. Put the pressure on my shoulders. Tell me that I'm going to kill somebody and, 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 put the pressure on me. It's fine. I love it. I'm going to be able to perform with it. It doesn't matter. I think I gain more out of beating Bobby Green than I do beating some other guys in the top 15. And I saw recently you mentioned that Islam Makachev beat Bobby Green and lo and behold, he's the champ pretty quickly and you're in the top 10 yourself. So you're not far off from the same exact path. Bobby Green was his fight before he fought Charles Oliveira. I know that he was supposed to fight RDA. RDA had to back out. And uh, Bobby Green stepped up because Bobby Green is a G. However, anything can happen in this sport. I don't by any means think that I'm going to get a title shot after I beat Bobby Green. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is people are telling me that I'm fighting backwards, and that's not true. I am fighting. That's it. Is there a way when you go to sleep at night, you envision this fight going, how you're going to have your hand raised, or is it just whatever presents itself on Saturday? Man, the biggest thing, I would love to be the very first person to submit Bobby Green in his entire career. He's never been submitted before. He's also never fought a grappler like me. I know that he fought uh, I know that he fought Islam. It was very short notice, so I don't think he was able to perform to the best of his ability. He's had a full camp for me. We're both going to get after it, and I think being able to get a submission win over him really shows people where I'm at inside this top 15 level. We talked to Bobby, and he said there can only be one king. Is KGD, is that stand for King Grant Dawson? That's what he thought. Is that what it is? And so, yeah. So my, I wanted my original name to be King Grant Dawson because I've always had my mind set on becoming a world champion. That's it. He who has the gold rules. Uh, not picking King was because of Bobby Green. I was like, well, Bobby Green has that name already. I don't want to be a copycat, so I'm going to do KGD. And one day when I win the world championship, I will change my name to King Grant Dawson. But we're about to find out who the real king is. Um, he's an OG when it comes to being the king. I'm the new guy. Let's see what's up. Speaking of OG being the king, we talked to, to him about LeBron, and he said he would be down to fight LeBron. That's always hypothetical here, you know, if a professional athlete of that stature was to get in there with a MMA fighter 100 pounds less. How does a fight like that go, whether it's Bobby versus LeBron or yourself versus LeBron, someone like that? Bobby Green would beat LeBron James without taking a single scratch. Not, not a dude. They don't. Okay. So I, I was hanging out with one of my non fighter friends the other day, and I understand that he's not an athlete to LeBron James's level, but he asked me to kick his leg because he was talking, he was kind of talking some crap. And he was like, dude, I don't understand how people go down to leg kicks. And I was like, have you ever been kicked in the leg? And he was like, well, yeah, but not by like a fighter. And I was like, let me give you 20%, 20% of this kick. And he could barely walk. These people don't understand how durable our bodies are. Uh, LeBron James doesn't stand a chance against Bobby Green. Not a chance. And that's coming from his opponent. Last thing for you, is there a message for Bobby before you guys get in there and do battle this weekend in Vegas? Man, my, my message for Bobby is I have so much respect for you. I do think that you're one of the best in the world. And I am very honored to fight you. That being said, I am going to win this fight. I am going to show the world that I am the best fighter in the world, and it starts with beating you, Bobby Green, uh, on Saturday night.